Hello and welcome to today's science video. Here's our opening question. Can you tell me what a cell is? I don't mean to sell something. That's when you exchange a good or service for money. I mean, what is a cell? If you think you already know what a cell is, then you are ahead of the curve, but we have a lot to talk about. I am certain that you will still be able to learn something or maybe remember some information that you may have forgotten. As a reminder to our teachers who may use this video, there is a link to a printable worksheet posted in the description. Additionally, a link to an Edpuzzle will also be added into the description by August 10th, 2024. This way, you can turn this video into an automatically graded formative assessment. Now let's get started. In science, a cell refers to the basic unit of life. This means that the cell is the smallest part of a living thing. If something is alive or was living, it will be made from at least one cell. For example, a tree is a living thing, and so is a bird. As a result, they are both made of cells. Following that example, leaves that fall off a tree or feathers that fall off a bird are also made of cells, even though the leaves and feathers are now dead. Something like a brick was never living or alive, so it would not be made from cells. Before we move on, let's stop and check for understanding of what we just discussed. What is a cell? A. A small room that you can't escape. B. The smallest part of a spreadsheet. C. A small living thing like a leaf. D. The smallest part of a living thing. The answer is D. Before we continue with the video, please support the channel by leaving a like and considering subscribing. Likes help other people find this video, allowing the learning to spread. Thank you. Now that we know what a cell is, we should also know how cells can make up living things. Living things are divided into two categories based on the number of cells they have. Things that are made from a single cell are called unicellular. Unicellular, uni means one. That's why clothes that look alike are called uniforms, meaning one form. Unicellular organisms have only one cell. Things like bacteria have only one cell, so they are called unicellular organisms. Any living thing with more than one cell is called multicellular. Multi means many. Things like plants, animals, and fungi are made from multiple cells. This is why they are called multicellular organisms. Once again, let's take a pause to make sure we all understand everything before moving forward. Answer this question by filling in the blank. A unicellular organism has blank cells, but a multicellular organism has blank cells. A. Multiple, multiple. B. Multiple, one. C. One, multiple. D. One, one. The answer is C. Next question. Which is an example of a unicellular organism? A. Bacteria. B. Plant. C. Animal. D. Fungi. The answer is A. So now that we know what cells are and how we classify organisms according to the number of cells they have, there is one more thing we should discuss. How do we know cells exist? Cells can be viewed by using two devices. You can use either a magnifying glass or a microscope. However, you will get the best results by using a microscope. Both tools allow you and scientists to see things that are extremely small. If you take a leaf and look at it under a magnifying glass, it might look like what you see on the screen right now. If you want to see more details, try using a microscope and it will look closer to what is now shown on the screen. This can be applied to any living thing. They all have cells. Before you go, let's do a quick review. Cells are the most basic and smallest unit of life. All living things and things that were alive are made from cells. 
Things like birds, trees, leaves and feathers are made from cells. Even your fingernails are made from cells. Things that are made from only one cell are called unicellular organisms. This includes organisms such as bacteria. Organisms made from multiple cells are called multicellular organisms. This includes animals, plants and fungi. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot today. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to have more educational videos like this. And don't forget to leave a like and share this so that other people like you can see the video. Thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.